Welcome to When Creativity Knocks All-Star Designers Spring Series. This episode is one of my favorite ones. I love when we do mashups. We all come together and today's Bluebird of Happiness Baby Shower. So the first part of any successful baby shower is the invitation. And Judy Watanabe from Judykins is here to tell us how she created these absolutely adorable invitations for our baby shower. So what I did was I was watching the mashup from the last time that we mm -hmm. were taping and I saw how Anna and Jonathan used writ dye to dye the paper mm -hmm. and I thought, wow, that's fabulous. It's a great way to customize so it. So what I did was I to get the little white behind Little on hand here, prints and footprints. what I did was I used some microglaze. And microglaze is a paste wax, which is kind of soft, and it allows you to actually stamp the wax on the card. Then I took the dye and I just brushed it right over. And it acts as a resist so that it... Exactly. That's amazing. So then just let everything dry. And um, then I used my rubber stamps and I stamped out all of these other elements, this little bow tie and the little chicky. Super cute. And these little edges here, these are actually pieces of paper that I just straight dyed just the paper. Just straight solid. And what I did was I used the AdTech dot runner to layer all of these pieces mm -hmm. together. And I have this wonderful invitation. Super cute. And you've got a little blue boy version or a little adorable pink girl version so you're ready for any baby shower. Right. Very, right, very exactly. cute, Judy. Very it was a cute. lot of fun. And it, it is. It's a great way to work with a multiple assortment of products to create something really cute. So what do you have to show me here? Well, my assignment was the banner for the baby shower. Oh my goodness, that's fabulous. So I have a few steps involved here. I started by dyeing some um, muslin fabric with the royal blue dye and just letting it um, dry. And then I cut it into banners that are six by nine. And I folded them over about a half an inch and I used the actual glue gun to just glue a little slot to put the ribbon. Oh, through. no needles. No needles <laughs> involved. Yeah, I'm a no-sew kind of girl. <laughs> so once I had this part ready, I went ahead and I wanted to create my tree branches. And to do that, I used my Judykins tree branch and I stamped with some paint from DecoArt right onto them and just repeatedly stamped to kind of make the branches coming in. Our branches needed leaves, so I used these great chip, natural stone chip beads oh. um, from Bliss Beads and Hallcraft, and I hot glued those onto the ends of the branches to create the leaves on the banner. Oh, wow, that looks Gives fabulous. it a great dimensional. I like lumpy and bumpy in texture, so it was a great way to add dimension. So once I had the banners done, it was time to spell out baby. I used smooth foam letters, and I painted them with the DecoArt Americana Decor chalky finish paint. And it gives a great coat, one coat. I didn't have to put another coat on. It dried beautifully. I did both sides and set those aside. For the little blue birds that are flying, I used my Macon's clay. And Macon's is soft right out of the package and ready to use, so I just took it out and I rolled it through with the Ultimate Clay Machine. And I got it, it's maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Wow, that's pretty And Macon stays flexible. So it's great for things like this, and it's also, you can die cut it, which is what I did. I die cut it with a Sizzix die with one of Eileen Hull's bird dies, and then just attached the wings, the three-dimensional wings, and I've got these great little lightweight bluebirds with a little bit of heft to them. Added the coloring on their bellies with some more paint, and then I just punched a hole, and I strung them together with some jute. Tied them onto the banner with some more jute, and I just used a little bit of yellow ribbon to add a little pop of color. And we've got a great kind of free-flowing baby banner with little bluebirds ready to nest in the trees. That is so, so It was a fun cute. project. It was a fun project, full of lumpy, bumpy texture. That's <laughs> great, Cindy. <laughs> Next up for our Bluebird of Happiness baby shower is the centerpiece, and Laura is going to show us how to do it. Hi, Laura. Hi. This is a really easy project, and I think it creates a lot of wow for as simple as it is. adorable. 
All you have to do to make this cute bird cage is you get some smooth foam. They make these half domes now. Oh. And cool. a disc. And you can paint these or do whatever you want to match your shower. But today I'm really going to focus on how I got the bird cage element okay. together. So what you want to do is you want to kind of measure around a I'm using eight skewers, so it's an eight inch circle. So you'll just I what I did was I did four okay. spots and then I hit the middles. Because I don't measure, I think we've talked about this and that makes you crazy about me, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> this I understand this part. This is much easier. And again, you um, do the same with the top. Okay. Then you use the pointy end of a skewer to poke into okay. your spot. And you can use a glue gun to kind of secure it. Okay. Once you have all of your skewers on the bottom, okay. you'll go ahead and pre-poke the holes in the top. I found oh. that that's easier because you're, not, you're gonna be using the flat end of the skewer this okay. time. So you would pre-poke it, and this is the challenging part, is when you have eight skewers all around here. You need an extra set of hands, you right? You do need an extra set of hands because you're gonna need to carefully kind of match them up. What I did was even before measuring, think, you, oh, there you, are. Okay. you um, do you uh, go across? I, I go across the four points to make sure they they. We miss. Mix. We totally missed the hole. <laughs> well, that's what I you're understand. Yeah. About. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit tricky, okay. but with partners, you get it done a lot quicker. And once you go around and make sure that everything's kind of straight, because they can get kind of cattywampus, okay. and you're going to need to repoke a hole. I can guarantee you. Then you go around again with your your glue gun and hit it with the glue, and okay. that secures it. Once you have it all put together, you can jazz up the whole thing. You can put, um, you know, your letters on the front. Now, did you glitter these letters or did you purchase them this I, way? I pre-purchased the okay. letters glittered. Um, you can add some tool. I put on mine, I put a little cup hook Oh, good idea. in the top because I was thinking out. That so if cute. you wanted to gift this to the um, the expectant mother, she could hang this in the nursery. Oh, that's true. Really cute. Um, maybe the moss might be a choking hazard for babies, so you might want to leave, not glue it down, uh -huh. so she can just clear it out. But I thought a stuffed bird in there hanging in that'd a nursery be, would be, be so really cute. cute. And so she could always fill it in with tool. Too. Right, right. Very cute. And then just you added some ribbon to... Just hot glued some ribbon. You can just go crazy. I mean, some people want to do a whole shabby chic dripping in crystals and <laughs> lace. And some other people want it to be plain or and you can fill it with, you can, instead of a bird, you could do flowers and turn this into a wedding. It's amazing what everybody came up with. I don't even know what's my most favorite out of everything. So many cute ideas for a baby shower. There's something there for almost anybody to use. There really is. Like us on Facebook and be sure to pin us on Pinterest. Follow us on Twitter and now find us on Instagram also. Go to the home page of our website, sign up to receive our weekly newsletter, and then you'll be eligible to win one of our weekly prize boxes full of product from our sponsors. And don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode.